Hi guys, Robbo46 here, welcome yourselves back to the preview of MotoGP24. Today, we are going to do a Grand Prix race. So, we want, let's do six laps. Um, I mean, it would be good to have, we'll do qualifying so starting position doesn't matter. I mean, we can do forced thingy. We'll just do clear. Uh, time and fuel consumption on. That is on. That is on. Stewards. Now, this is the one of the new things to MotoGP. Um, so, you can either be have them as uh, tolerant or you can have them as strict. So, strict. Track cutting, a lap declared invalid, riding the wrong way is a black flag, a rider stopped on track is a black flag, irregular uh, entry into pit lane is one times long lap penalty, as is pit lane entry over 60 kilometres, pit lane over 120 kilometres is uh, two long laps, and irregular entry at over 120 kilometres is two long laps, impeding is one long lap, um, severe race contact is no penalties. Uh, race contact with one rider falling is a long lap, as with two riders falling is a long lap. Uh, three or more riders falling is two long laps. Time improved with yellow flag. Obviously, your time will be stricken from the record. So that applies to qualifying. Um, I'm glad that they've got that in there because obviously that does happen in real life. And then race session, two long laps for a jump start, warning for uh, track cutting. Long laps uh, not served within three laps is a three second penalty. Riding right the wrong way, black flag. Rider right stopped on track is a black flag. And then you've got the same with the pit entries and everything. Severe race contact is a warning. And then rider falling is the same. Off track overtake, you have to uh, re re give the uh, or concede the position to the rider you've overtaken. Multiple off track overtakes is two long laps, and position not gained within two la uh, not regained within two laps is a three second penalty. Okay, let's use. Um, well, I think we'll go to Circuit in the Americas. Because that is the next race for MotoGP this weekend. We're going to use last year's race winner. And the only Honda race winner last year. Alex Rins. Obviously now he's on the Yamaha. Um, so let's go to Circuit Americas. Um, race settings. It's fine. Start Grand Prix. Right, here we go. So get rid of that. Get rid of that. We just do qualifying. Um, we won't do the sprint this time. We'll just do the race itself. Right. Okay. So, something I need to do quickly. So, there is adaptive difficulty on MotoGP24, which does take a few races to um, calibrate. So, for this one, we're going to turn it off. We're going to stick 120% on and see what they're like. Um, and then we'll try and do adaptive difficulty for future races. So let's head out and qualify. Right, let's head out and uh, see what we can do. The rider makes his way confidently Gavin Emmett the there. About to take to the track. Now we go on the Yamaha. Oh, oh hello. Put a bit more anti wheelie on, shall we? Oh, hit the curb.
see what kind of lap times we've got to try and do to get through to Q2. Obviously AI is still being worked on, so you can take them with a pinch of salt. Oh. Okay, no one set a lap time yet. We are coming around to finish our first flying lap is not going to be great okay sector three is a yellow flag but we've already gone through that 2073 everyone else has still got red indicators so it's obviously not a great lap Two oh five four, so yeah we are off the pace at the moment. Two oh two three Not stopping. I don't think we're going to be getting through to uh, Q2. Two crashes, sector three again. That's annoying. Two oh one six. I don't think we're going to be getting near those times. Five seconds off. Hot in a turn one. Not, not the best of starts.
Again, a bit too hot into that. Gonna get one more shot of this. A two oh four zero, that was obviously a quicker lap. I definitely didn't seem to have that um, unstable wobble like you had in uh, MotoGP 23 on the brakes. Yeah, not great. Some people didn't even set a lap time. Two riders who took the last two places available for Q2 on your screen. Twenty ones. That's mad. Okay, let's see how the race goes. Our director takes us to the starting grid, where riders are trying to maintain their. Right, we're going for medium, medium. See what their starts are like. Right, away we go. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I was just spinning up the rear. Oh, they're all bumping and barging. Someone's crashed as well. Sorry, lads. Oh, 
Love how uh, Vinyala's got a track limits warning there. So I go wide. Yeah, I'm going to get another warning, aren't I? One more. And we'll be doing a long lap penalty. Just gonna have to go careful from now on. I got oh, got that a bit wrong. I was gonna say I'm using power map in three, but the fuel seemed oh, someone's gone down that. The fuel was doing okay. I don't know who that is, one of the Ducatis who crashed, I think. Maybe Bastianini? Oh. That's Brad Binder who has just crashed. There he is and his bike. I think he's out of the race. Nakagami trying to go the long way around me. It's good to see the AI crashing and not just going round on rails. Oh. This is a penultimate lap now. Can we stay where we are? Hopefully. Oh, someone else has gone down. 
Vinales, same place as Binder. Oh, Masada. Surprised at the uh, fuel though, still okay, and we are on power map and three. My best lap, 203 flat. This is it, final lap. I messed up turn one. Gonna have to go careful with the guys behind now. Oh, my teammate Quattro has just crashed, but annoyingly he's got going again. Oh, he's gone off track though. Fernandez was catching me, but I mean we finished in the points. Let's take a look at the final classification of the Moto G. Finished in twelve for the traditional podium ceremony. Yeah, they were in the two oh ones, I was in the two oh threes. Two one zero for Brad Binder. Fastest lap, but he did crash out. That was uh, quite hectic. I will try out the adaptive AI at some point. We'll do some more races. Um, and then see how it goes. But yeah, anyway, guys, that has been um, my first Grand Prix on the preview build of MotoGP24. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I'll just see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, watch, and look after yourselves. See you guys next time. See you.